All right, everyone, welcome back to Cooking Healthy with Milano Dynamite. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to do a spaghetti squash pasta. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do my meatless sauce, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the pasta part. So just not to bore you guys, I already have my oven behind me set for 450 degrees, so that way I can get the squash rolling. So let's, uh, let's get started. So I'm just gonna move some of this stuff out of my way for a second. But now we have this big behemoth squash right here. And um, I'm gonna get it out of the way. I use everything that's organic as fresh as I can for anything that I cook at home. So let's go. So let's get, <laughs> let's get the squash cut. Wow, that didn't, that didn't, that didn't, ha that didn't happen. Okay, all right guys, let's cut the squash. Oh, and babe, this is this is. Gotta just tap it so it goes silent. Aya! Oh. We're using that. <gasps> okay. Oh shoot! Well, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go grab a spoon. Okay. So next part, what we have to do is gut the squash. My least favorite part, but. Um, just take a spoon is the best way to describe it. Go like this, get the seeds out of there. It's gonna be messy. This is not a neat process. So. Don't mind me if seeds get everywhere. That's just how it happens. Okay, so got this first guy fine. It's okay to leave some of that there. That is part of the squash, you're totally fine. Go ahead, we're gonna do the second one. Tried to cut the squash in half evenly, but that's totally fine if it doesn't happen. This is a big guy, so do the best we can. Get in there with your hands. I don't care, because I use my hands, utensils when cooking. all the seeds are out okay pretty much done there here's another seed sometimes it's gonna happen okay we're done with this part so next I'm gonna grab my baking dish that I'm gonna use you can use whatever baking dish you want I kind of like glass just because certain things it can take a little bit longer but what I like is these guys will hold the heat so if I want to pull something out a little bit early, I'm still going to get some cooking time with it sitting in the pan, which is a beautiful thing. Um, measuring spoon, sit there, I don't need you. So what I'm going to do is just lay these guys in here like this for now. But all I do for basics of seasoning is Himalayan pink salt, black peppercorn, and extra olive extra virgin olive oil so with salt to me just explain you guys with cooking is i don't like to overdo salt the problem with overdoing salt is you can't take it away so i'm just gonna say take about a pinch of your finger go over this one do the same thing over here go like that that should be good enough you can add later but this is just the cooking part of the spaghetti squash Next, I'm going to use my black peppercorn. I buy it with a hole and I reuse this container, which is so great. I'm trying to eliminate waste in my life. Got that. So we got the black pepper on there. Um, with the olive oil, I don't really have a measurement. What I would just say is lightly drizzle over both of them. Make sure they're coated and that should be good. I let some pour down in the pan flip these babies over and then now these guys are ready for the oven okay i'm gonna put these guys in the oven bottom tray set my timer for 45 minutes okay those are going so next thing what we're gonna do is i have my second baking glass tray here um i already pre-chopped everything up i have about a fourth of a red onion i have half of a scallion I have about medium to small 
eight cloves of garlic. I'm gonna leave the skin on. I'm gonna explain myself in a second. And then a red and green bell pepper. You can do one color. One is just more mature than the other, but it has a little bit slight different flavor. So we're gonna throw all these guys in this splash tray. I've been loving oven roasting my veggies that I put in my sauce lately. It just gives it a nice flavor. I like to change things up with my sauces, so I'm showing you guys one way of how I do it. Okay, got these guys in here. I'm gonna put my garlic over here. Next, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to drizzle olive oil over here to keep the pan grease, keep these guys, get some flavor. I'm not gonna add any, nothing to this. We're just gonna put it up and let these guys roast while we have the squash in there. Okay, those are going. Um, one thing I would say about your success to cooking is setting timers and pay attention to what you're doing. So I like to kind of do things around the same kind of timing the least try to get everything to be cooked around the same time. So nothing gets cold. So next what we're gonna do is we gotta go to the stove because we gotta start cooking some stuff over here. I'm going to, I took a half, um, half a brick of tofu. I crumbled that up, extra firm organic I use. I have some white mushrooms. I grabbed a handful of them, a couple handfuls. So there's about 12 in here that I chopped up already. And then I have a full, Italian zucchini that are chopped up in pieces. I like to add some veggies to my sauce. And then also too, I feel like I'm cheating today. I usually use whole tomatoes. A lot of Italian dishes have cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. I took the label off, but it's crushed Roma potatoes. Not potatoes, Roma tomatoes. Um, this is gonna speed up the process of me making my sauce. So anyway, um, also I have some broth. I'll show you guys what I do with that and then some seasonings to go with everything. <laughs> and we'll go over that as we cook at the stove. So I'm gonna just take everything over here. All right guys, so next what we're gonna do, I would have preheat the pans, but you know, you don't want anything burning or getting too hot on your pans. So I'm gonna use these two big guys. This one can go back here, don't need it. Um, so we have the back burner, I'm gonna start off. I like to get them nice and up the temperature. I like to do medium. So we're gonna let those warm up. Do not add your oil before heating up the pans, a big no-no. So key advice, you don't wanna burn your oil and you don't wanna be inhaling all those fumes from the pan. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> okay, let me stop. All right guys, so 30 minutes, 35 minutes on the timer. The pans are nice and heated. So we're gonna take our olive oil. Guys, I cook, all I cook in is olive oil and coconut oil. And what I would say if you don't use those and you want an alternative, um, avocado oil too. These are just great fatty oils. They're really good for your gut, for your stomach. Yeah, baby, woo! Okay, so I'm just gonna turn these down a little bit. Don't want it too hot. So next I'm going to take the tofu and then I'm gonna use this as like a crumble meat. I usually do this in the oven, but I don't have any parchment paper for my tray. So it's totally fine. You can do it different ways. There's no wrong way of cooking. Use the tools that you have at your disposal. All right, so we're gonna put these guys in here. And I can, oh, I have it. Oh, look at this. I have a spoon over here. Okay, so. Let those go. So what I'm gonna season the tofu with is I'm going to use some powdered chili. Do about half a teaspoon. I'm eyeballing this. I've done this recipe tons of times. Then I'm gonna use red pepper. Got that. Black peppercorn. Next, powdered onion. powdered garlic. I'm gonna do a wee bit, do a pinch of Himalayan salt. Whoop, baby, yeah, we're sizzling over here. Okay, next I'm gonna take some cumin. Okay. 
So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of that. Then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of paprika. I love paprika, it just adds a little smokiness to it. Boom, bolt that. Okay, I'm gonna stir everything together. that go. Next we're gonna come back to this big boy over here. We're gonna add the mushrooms. You can skip the mushrooms if you're not a mushroom lover. I know some people who don't like the texture of mushrooms. If you don't like any of these vegetables, substitute it for broccoli, carrots. There's so many vegetables, man. Okay, now we added the one zucchini in there. I'm gonna stir these guys up. Going to take some more Himalayan pink salt. Gonna do a pinch of this over the veggies. Oh shoot. All right guys, we are gonna take my half cup, measuring cup, I'm gonna take some Vegetable broth, low sodium. I don't like things heavy in salt. No, thank you. I'm gonna take a half cup. And this is just what I like to add to my sauce to add some flavor. And I do this because I mean, usually to my sauce, I add the pasta water to it, but we're not doing pasta for this recipe. So I'm gonna use broth instead. Wow, we made a mess over there. Whoops, all right. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, a little bit past medium to get these veggies cooking a little bit more and faster. Come over here, stir the tofu. All right guys, so I just wanna let you know, you wanna keep an eye on your tofu and your veggies. Um, I'm just stirring every few minutes and just making sure everything gets cooked evenly. All right guys, so we got 25 minutes on the clock. I peeked in the oven again. Everything's brewing in there beautifully. Now I'm gonna take my Roma tomatoes that are already crushed. We're gonna take the can, we're gonna go ahead and pour this baby in. What I like to do is, this is not going the ways. I've seen my grandmother, my mother use this technique. Take some water, rinse the can out, and add more to your sauce. So I'm gonna come over here. If you have horrible tap water, just use whatever water that you have that's filtrated. Just throwing that out there. Not everywhere has the, has the best water. Okay. Now if I can get my, what's going on? Come on, lid. <laughs> wow, I sucked at that. The can's going inward, the lid, but that's fine. That's not gonna hurt anything. Okay, got that. Just rinsing my can out for recycling. Okay, done with that. Stir the sauce in. As you guys can see, I turned up the heat. I went past medium, so between, you before you get to super high. I don't know what kind of settings everyone has on their stove, but oh my God, and I'm making a mess. <sighs> don't mind me. that up, there we go. Okay, next what I'm going to add to my sauce is parsley first. I love just putting parsley. So we're gonna do, this is a half a teaspoon, I'm gonna do one teaspoon parsley. And this is already dried and dehydrated, but you can use fresh, I always, Say use fresher sauces, but this is what I have and I'm not gonna have it go to waste. Next I have an Italian blend. So Italian blend usually has oregano, rosemary, sage, all that in there. And I just love all that yumminess for sauces. I'm gonna do um, one full teaspoon in there. Next I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna do another pinch of Himalayan salt in there. 
Sort of stir that in slowly. Okay, doing great, doing great. Now we're gonna come back over here to the tofu meat. Oh, this is almost done. This takes approximately about 15 to 20 minutes to heat up this up, to get it nice and crunchy, crispy. So crazy how you can make tofu taste like meat. You don't have to, but just like the way, how you can season it and utilize it in so many dishes is just great. I don't use tofu every day, so, but one of my favorite things to cook with. Okay, that's pretty, we are done with that. So we're gonna turn this burner off and let that sit there and simmer. I got my salsa roaring right now. Next, we're gonna just take a peek at the onion and peppers. All right, gonna give some more time with that. I like to get it really oven roasted. So we're gonna get some time in that and then we'll come back. All right guys, I'm gonna come over here and lower the temperature now for the sauce, get that in a low simmer. And next I'm going to add the meat. Oh gosh, dang, it's hot over the stove. Beautiful. All right guys, we're going to check on the veggies. Ooh, we got 16 minutes left. Yeah, beautiful. Hello, roasted vegetables. Okay, guys, so by the time you get to this 15, 16 mark of your timer left, you can pull out your vegetables. So, we're gonna add these in the sauce. Careful safety first, oven mitt. Oh my gosh, nope. Hold on guys. I meant to, to pull, oh, okay good. I think I have all the garlic, hold on. The reason why <laughs> is because I leave those babies in their, their skin until I'm ready to pull out. Okay, I think I got them all. Oh my God, I need to slow down. Sorry guys, did not think about that. Got my clothes there. Oh, there you are, last one. Okay, I knew I had eight, so. There we go. The skin's not gonna harm you, but I like to just take them out. Okay, so what I need next is I'm just gonna grab over here, put my chopping block here. I'm gonna grab these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Minute. I'm gonna dump the rest of these vegetables on here. Okay, sweet. We're gonna let the sauce go. We still got 14 minutes with the squash in there. All right, so next, just be really careful because it's really hot. It just came from the oven. But usually this comes off really well, which is great about roasted garlic. So I'm just gonna just push lightly with my knife. Ooh, this smells good. I love garlic. Ooh, baby. Fresh garlic is my jam. I'm just gonna be careful. Oh, wow, that had a double onion in there. Garlic, I mean. Yum. Just gonna push that out. Okay, we got all those out. Toss the skins over here. Okay, I'm just gonna take my knife and just chop this up. 
You can put them as big chunks in your sauce if you want, or you can chop it up, but I'm just gonna chop this. God, if only you guys could smell through the camera, this smells so good. Okay, here's my knife, go in the sauce now. Stir that in. Okay, let that baby go. Okay, let's wash my hands. All right, guys. So the last part we're just waiting on is letting the sauce take its time, um, and then we got 12 more minutes until. We're ready for the spaghetti squash. All right, see you guys in a bit. Squash is done, squash alert, squash alert. Okay, that was really dumb. Okay guys, woo, I'm about to sweat some more. Woo, woo baby, dinosaur oven door open, yeah. <laughs> All right, man, I really need a second oven mitt glove, but that's okay. Be very careful. Oh, ooh, we is sizzling. Ooh. Be perfect. They're great. Woo, 45 minutes, 450. Perfect for these guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I peel the squash out, but it's gonna be holy Batman hot. So, hmm, I wanna show this cool down. Let's do like 10 minutes. That should be free. Good, and then also too, this will just give me time for my sauce to cook more. I usually cook my sauce between 45 minutes and an hour, but you can do a cutoff at 45 minutes. The great thing that I love about sauces, the longer they sit in like the fridge, you get a few days out of it, the more flavorful sauces. Mm, mm, mm. All right, baby, keep cooking. We'll come back to you in 10 minutes and then we'll get the plate ready, baby. All right, guys, so now it's cooled down. The timer's about to go. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Now we're gonna bring it back over here. So I'm gonna do it up like I'm serving a plate. Usually I just knock the spaghetti squash in one dish, but I'm just gonna show you how I put the final delicious dish together. So let me still be careful because it's still a little hot. Woo, baby! All right, we're gonna take this guy. Ooh, it's still a little hot, but just be careful. This is hot, dude. This is hot. I can't. This is so, this is so hot. Okay. So I'm just gonna scrape it up and it pulls it out. This is actually the name of the squash. It's a spaghetti squash because it looks like pasta. Be careful if it's still a little hot because this is. Whew. Okay. okay. Perfect. I'm still gonna use the rest, but we're gonna put this on the side. Ooh. Put that back in there. Ooh. Okay, got the squash here. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna add my sauce to it. BRB! All right, guys. So here we go, final product. Here we go guys, the squash and then my sauce on top. Um, feel free to add whatever cheese, Parmesan, whatever you want. Sometimes what I add, and I didn't mention it, but one thing I like to add, we don't eat cheese anymore in our diet. So we'll either use vegan cheeses, which I'm trying to cut that out because I'll show you guys later down the road how I make some cheeses from scratch. But you can even add nutritional yeast, which is Mm, delicious, it gives it a little bit of creaminess and gives that little bit of a cheesy flavor. So hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you guys have made this dish, take pictures, tag me on Instagram. Let me know below what you guys thought of this video. If you guys have anything you would like me to cook, let me know. But I have plenty of ideas, but throw them at me at the same time. Um, enjoy your dinner. And this is the end, guys. Spaghetti squash with my homemade pasta sauce. Don't forget to like, <laughs> thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later. I
try to use what I <laughs> Anyway, I peeked in the oven again. Everything's brewing in there beautifully. Beautifully, that sounded really weird. Anyway, I know how you guys, if, oh. I can't even talk, that was, oh, that was your ugly face. 